Right now, the McFarland City Hall and Police Department operate out of one building, but the Police Department says lack of space in storage is keeping them from working efficiently as a department, and it's forcing them to look at nearby buildings for relocation. It affects a lot of the working families because it's a safe spot for the kids to go to after school. And if it closed down, where are they going to go? Fabian Herrera and his son love coming to the McFarland Library. We're focusing on uh, Spanish books, so he's learning how to read Spanish too. And like them, McFarland Branch Library associate Frank Cervantes says many kids and their families are excited to walk through these doors. There are so many children that, that come here and have a good time. But the library is only open two days a week. Chief of Police Kenny Williams says the department will use it seven days a week. As they use it two days a week, uh, police department would use a building like that 24 seven. William says the department's current space does not have enough room for its staff. This is the area that they work in. I have 17 sworn staff and uh, you know, I don't have them all hired yet, uh, but uh, you know, they all share one squad room that's really tiny and it's just not conducive to having a, a good place to work and to do professional work. Or even to store records and evidence safely. You know, we have three different locations for our property. That is not a way to run your property room. William says relocating to that location is not to get rid of the library entirely. He is searching for locations to move that resource elsewhere. But he says this location would allow the department to stay centrally located and provide better public safety to the community. It is a perfect size for what we want to do. It has the infrastructure we need, it's got the parking lot that we need. Uh, and then in addition to that, it will not take a lot of money in order to adapt it to our needs. Cervantes says he understands the department's need to protect the community, but says rural communities like McFarland need this library. It's wonderful that we're located right next to the schools because, you know, the children would have to um, go on a uh, go on an odyssey to go and and uh, and obtain these uh, these services, you know, we're right next door for a lot of them. William says there is not enough money to build a brand new building, which is why the department is looking for alternatives. He has brought it to the attention of city and county officials, and they are looking for another location to move the library to. In McFarland, Taylor Levesque, 23 ABC, connecting you.